So let's take a look at how we should uh, set up the deformations in Lightwave so they look good in Unity as well. When working with a game engine, you need to assign one single weight for each bond. This means that you can't create a single weight for the leg, let's say the leg called leg, and assign it to all the bonds in the leg. So for example, in this case, we have left tight joint 01 assigned to this bond, and left knee joint 01 assigned to this other bond, and of course if we're going to select all the other bonds we will find different weights. Something else we need to do is to disable use morphed positions so faster bonds is active. To maximize the deformation compatibility with the game engine we also need to select all the bonds of the character and activate use weight map only. While we can change the assigned weight in layout, simply selecting it from the list, we can also set up Genoma 2 so it already knows which weight will be assigned to a bond. In Modeler we can see the many weights we have in this model and we can check which weight is assigned to a bond and eventually change it. To do that we can simply select one of the skeletons and from the setup menu use set skeleton weight map. Here you can see the currently assigned weight and of course from the list if needed you can select another one and assign it. Even if it's true that in a game engine you need one way to sign for each bond, it is also true that in Lightway we don't have such a limitation. On the contrary, it's common practice to do that. I'm going to make a little experiment so we can see how the FBX file format which is used to interchange between Lightwave and Unity works in the case we decide to assign the same weight to more bonds. So first let's create a new weight map called underscore leg and put in the underscore so it will be on top of this list and here it is and now I'm going to create some very simple skeletons and oh, let's move them in the right position let's select them and use set skeleton weight map so we can assign the leg weight to all of them let's copy the skeleton in layer 1 and let's save this object black in objects of course let's switch to layout clear the scene back to modeler send the object to layout and convert skeletons so we have our leg weight assigned to all the bonds it's not important uh, that the deformation looks good in this example what I want you to show is how the FBX is going to transform uh, the weight situation in this setup so let's save the scene and then let's export this scene in FBX format. We export it in the same working directory, working content. And we can now clear the scene and load the FBX file. So let's see what happened to to the weight assignment. Even if we had assigned a specific weight to 
all the bonds, we can see that now, after reimporting the FPX, each bond has a, a weight and the name of the weight is the same of the bond. If we select all the bonds and disable the Maya style joint option, we can see we have exactly the same bonds we had in the original scene. So it's the formation different than our original scene file now? Luckily the answer is no. We still have the same deformation we had in the original LWS file. As long as you don't use any special uh, tool, deformation tool in light like joint compensation or muscle flexing and so on, you will get the same deformation in Lightwave and Unity. What the FBX export did was just to convert the bond inferences related to the selected weight map into several weight maps that basically produce the same effect. In the next video we will show a very simple procedure that you can use to load more than one character using this same unity rig in a single scene. Thanks for watching.